Today, June 15th marks the second anniversary of the deadly clash between the Indian troops and the Chinese PLA soldiers in Ladakh's remote Galwan Valley, in which 20 Indian soldiers were killed and an undisclosed number of Chinese troops also lost their lives. The Galwan clash of 2020 was the first deadly skirmish along the line of actual control in five decades. The clash along the LSE in eastern Ladakh over the Chinese army's actions led to a military standoff with Beijing. The conflict between the two post this clash still continues as the Indian Army and the Chinese PLA have so far held 15 rounds of talks between the corps commanders to resolve the standoff. 14 of these talks took place after the Galwan Valley conflict, but they have led to partial success. The clash left 20 Indian soldiers and an undisclosed number of Chinese troops dead as Beijing repeatedly declined to reveal its total casualties. However, China, in February of 2021, announced posthumous medals to four of its soldiers who lost their lives in the Galwan clash. Citing a report prepared by a group of social media researchers after a year-long investigation, an article in the Australian newspaper, The Klaxon, revealed that at least 38 PLA troops drowned while crossing a flat-flowing sub-zero river in darkness. Earlier on Sunday, Chinese Defence Minister General Wei Fengi emphasised the two nations are working together for peace along the LSE. Ramping up activities in the Galwan Valley in April of 2020, the Chinese forces began setting up infrastructure such as tents, dugouts and machineries. After this, the troops of the two sides engaged in conflicts not just at Galwan Valley, but at various points along the India-China border, including near Pangong Lake in Ladakh and Tibet from early May of 2020. New Delhi contended that the Chinese troops had moved into the Indian side of the LSE. That escalated tensions with both sides deploying an increased number of soldiers at the border.